Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra Belt Tightening. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. People who are considering buying the regular Galaxy S23 model may find it unsettling to read apparent specifics about the cooling systems employed throughout the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S23 series. According to Edorsda, the Galaxy S23 Ultra will reportedly contain a cold vapor chamber as part of its cooling system, whereas the S23 Plus will just use heat pipe-based cooling. The base Galaxy S23, however, is rumored to lack a dedicated cooling system and instead will rely on some flexible graphite sheets and strategically positioned components. Well, although there will certainly be some little adjustments here and there, it appears Samsung has maintained the same fundamental cooling technologies it utilized for the Galaxy S22 lineup with the equivalent members of the S23 series. The S22 Plus has a copper heat pipe, the S22 Ultra utilizes a double-bonded stainless steel vapor chamber, and the standard Galaxy S22 lacks a custom cooling system. For the S23 Ultra, S23 Plus, and for the standard S23, it's probable that Samsung will be generous with its gel tim and nano tim, but it's unclear whether this will be a suitable remedy for the entry-level model in the range. Thermal emissions on the Samsung Galaxy S22 were not particularly high, although there was throttling when under strain to extend battery life and according to a recent report, the Galaxy S23 line of smartphones will use an overclocked version of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 so, which, if accurate, may cause additional problems with heat management for the S23 handsets. The S23 Plus and S23 may struggle as a result of their alleged cooling system limitations, whereas the vapor chamber of the S23 Ultra may be able to manage all that additional power with ease and due to this circumstance. Renowned Leaker Ice Universe has advised his fans to refrain from buying the regular Galaxy S23. In addition to that, it looks like Samsung is ready to take another huge step forward by forming a new chipset development team within its mobile division. For years, Samsung was outsourcing its Exynos chipset production to Samsung System LSI which is a separate entity from the Samsung Mobile Experience division and now according to recent reports, Samsung is creating a new chipset development team within the mobile division, where the executive vice president Choi Won Jun, who joined Samsung from Qualcomm in 2016, will serve as the department's director. Apart from that, there have been reports that Samsung won't be releasing new Exynos flagship chipsets in 2023 and 2024, instead aiming to provide its first exclusive proprietary chipset to the Galaxy S series in 2025. That said, let me end the discussion for today. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.